Now, Elise Patterson, can you please join us? Um, Elise is from Ability is Dance Boston. I'm Elise and um, Boston Beast. And I founded this dance company just three years ago uh, when I couldn't find a space for myself um, as a disabled dancer in the greater Boston area. And while there were some other companies, I didn't feel like I needed to move to be able to create the work that I wanted to be a part of and wanted to see and have stories that really uh, spoke to me um, and the diverse identities of people in my community. And so created it. And we've been moving and grooving ever since. We have our performing company, which is adult artists with and without disabilities um, that are not just dancers and choreographers, but musicians, composers, really fantastic costume designer, designer Laura. <laughs> and um, a, a variety of different other folks um, to contribute to the art history and really make um, powerful um, stories through movement uh, that center from different disabled experiences to racial experiences to romantic relationships to all these different um, types of stories that uh, we talk about in our company or things that we're currently going through or things that um, we're affected by and uh, really just trying to have a presentation in a way that hasn't been um, in the Boston area for a while and uh, continue to um, have these really awesome narratives uh, affect the different um, communities that we interact with, not just in the Boston area, but across the country and now internationally with our Sri Lankan partner. One of the things I love about your work um, is not only how inclusive you are, and it's amazingly inclusive, but things like the descriptions that you do of the dance. So there's descriptions of the dance, what people are doing so that people who are low or no vision can enjoy it too. But also just, it's almost poetic, the descriptions are really nicely done. Thank you. And it just um, felt pretty othering uh, to have it in devices for me and from some folks that I spoke with in our company and with our audio descriptions editor. Um, who is a blind consultant for the arts, uh, create these audio descriptions that live within the music um, so that everyone is um, experiencing as close to the same thing as possible and um, able to really make that uh, as eloquent as the movements itself so that we're really um, reaching everyone. Elise is wearing a black and red dress with black webbing on one side with slits at waist. Her crutches to the left are red with black webbing. Her walker to the right has red multicolored patterns. She sits on the ground looking down. Her right arm rises, fingers twirling with the piano. Arm arcs up and over, leaning. Reaching right, right leg extending behind. So what I like about that is that it really makes it a beautiful movement and also a shared experience for the entire audience. I was asking if she'd like to submit some work and I was just trying to find a piece in there. And you know, it also helped that some of the things I designed, so. <laughs> We get to do that when you're curating, right? Exactly. But, um, but the Wakanda Walker was a really fun collaboration. With and it's something that could kind of really um, have a visual manifestation of my own intertwinings of my Black identity and disabled identity. Um, and that having this lovely Wakanda Walker vibe um, really spoke to that. At least for me, the idea of putting a costume on your device was a natural. So why not do that? Uh, you really ran with it. And you were the person who reached out to me first. Yeah. So I'm really glad you did. Yeah. We've been creating together ever since. 